Welcome TickMill traders. Today I want to show you how to get started with Capitalize AI. Capitalize AI enables you to create your trading strategy in everyday English. You can then take that strategy and backtest it, simulate it, which is similar to paper trading, or you can run it live. First, let's go over to Client's Tools and choose Capitalize AI. Now we can click on Start Today. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up real quickly and free. Now the first page I see when I log in is the Live Examples page, and we'll get to it in a moment. Let's explore the interface first. On the bottom right corner, we have our in-app chat. If you need any guidance, please contact us on the in-app chat. On the left, we have our menu. We can create a new strategy. This is where we will write our different trading strategies. Browse examples. This page, where we can see different trading ideas. Discover. This is a page where we see different capabilities of the platform. My strategies. This is where we see all of our live strategies, stopped ones, and the back test we've done before. The Learning Center is where all of our learning resources are gathered. And at the bottom, we have the Settings page where we can change our password time zone and other settings. Finally, we have the Connect Trading Account, which is what we need to do before we can trade on our MT5 account. And we'll see more of each later in this video. We're going to go ahead and start with Create New Strategy. And as the name implies, well, this is where you can create all of your trading strategies. Whether you're looking to use fundamental data, like an economic calendar, or whether you're looking to use technical indicators, like RSI, MACD, stochastics, or whether you're looking to use price section or levels or volume, you can even create candlestick patterns. It's all created here. The way you think of your training strategy is the way you want to type it out. So let's go ahead and perhaps for this one, um, let's use a stock. Let's use something like Netflix and let's have a look at using an indicator, perhaps the MACD indicator. Anytime you select an indicator on the wizard, you can adjust the parameters on the tooltip above. For now, we'll just leave it as is. And then we're going to say what's happening with the MACD line. Well, let's have a look at any time it crosses above the signal line. So there's our first condition and you can have as many of these as you want. And for this first strategy, I think we'll leave it at one condition. Let's go ahead and then buy, in this case, uh, 10,000 USD worth of Netflix. Let's go ahead and click Next. Notice at the top, it highlights on Exit. Feel free to move back if you need to edit your entry. And just like your entry, well, you can close the position with anything. Perhaps for this example, we might go ahead and we'll set a profit target of 10% and use a trailing stop. Now a trailing stop will trail from the highest point the trade reaches. So let's do a trailing stop of 2%. And I think we'll leave it at that. We could of course include more conditions, but that's all there is to creating your strategy. It's an entry and an exit. If you just want to automate one part of your trade, just do a one-off automation, you can skip the exit by clicking this box. For now, we'll keep both the entry and exit and click Next. Here on the confirmation page, you can choose to run your strategy once, in which case it'll enter once, exit once, and stop, or in loop. So every time it's finished a cycle, which is an entry and exit, it's going to start another cycle and another cycle indefinitely. You can limit the number of loops or cycles or hits. And here you can have a total stop loss for your strategy. You can also name your strategy if you wish to. And then below here, we have our entry and our exit conditions. Just to be aware, all of our strategies are defaulted to market orders, but you can use limit orders in the entry. The exit is always with the market order. And then below here, we have our full trading solution. So here you can backtest your trading strategy, which is going to test it on historical market data. 
We have two buttons for this. We have the default backtest, which will test for 90 days, basically three months, or we have the time adjuster. So you may only want to test your strategy for certain days or weeks. You can go ahead, select that on the calendar and run the backtest. You can then simulate, which is similar to paper trading. So it's going to show you the trades themselves using real time data, but it's not going to touch your live account. And then you can run live. So anytime your conditions are met, Capitalize is going to open and close trades accordingly. Worth noting that once your strategy is live, you don't have to have Capitalize open, nor do you have to have your trading platform open. Capitalize will monitor, trigger, and execute in the background. And for our first strategy, we're going to go ahead and backtest this. We should see results within a minute or so, depending on the number of trades generated. If your strategy is generating, let's say, hundreds of trades in a three month period, it may take several minutes to complete. But generally, it shouldn't take much longer than that. So before we look at this backtest, just so you're all aware, our backtest uses one minute data. This is just the granularity of the test. This is obviously different from our live and simulated strategies. Those are using tick data updated multiple times per second. Okay, so our backtest has finished. We're gonna go through this page very quickly because if you get this page, the live app and the simulation are gonna look very similar. So here at the top, you can rename your strategy. This strategy produced just three hits and a hit is a cycle of entry and exit. Um, so basically the number of trades generated. Here we have a total PNL of 2.04%. Here you can limit the number of hits you see on the back test. Um, you can run live. This is our control panel where you can run live, edit the back test, clone, rerun, or get a shareable link. And I'm going to come back to this in a moment. Here is our entry and exit that we typed out. This is our hit chart. It represents every trade that we would have taken had we employed this strategy. And if we move our mouse pointer over any of them, we can see extra trade information. Now, if you want more information, like execution time, prices, and so on, well, you can find all of those in the notification panel here, which shows you all the trade executions. This contains every trade from the latest, that being third one, down to the first. Each trade has two cards, one for the entry and one for the exit. Exit will always be on the top. Very often you can change one or two conditions or tweak them and you can get a whole different dynamic of the strategy. Let's go ahead to our control panel here. What I'm going to do is clone this. Clone is a simple copy and paste. It's not going to do anything to the original strategy we just created. It's simply going to bring the strategy up onto the wizard so we don't have to type it out again. What I might do here is perhaps uh, first let's change the MACD settings from one day to one hour. And maybe what we'll do is uh, we just set the profit target, change it to 4%, and then the loss for 4% as well. Let's see how this plays out. So as we can see, um, we changed the results. Uh, we have six trades, again, not a lot, but 22.76% profit, which is substantially higher than before. Um, we have 83% winning ratio. Our um, winning average is higher than our uh, losing, which is always good. But again, I would try and tweak the strategy uh, again and again. I want to see better statistics for um, more trades. So I don't mind to get uh, less uh, um, profit. But if I have way more trades, like 20 to 30, I think uh, would be much better statistically. So that gives you kind of a good idea on how your strategy would have played out. And you can tweak it again and again to see which is working uh, best on the market. Of course, when you find a strategy that works, you don't really want to test it over one asset. You want to take it over 
uh, um, and try it in a few different assets um, and you see that it works on a basket of uh, assets. So don't have only one strategy and maybe overfit it uh, with the market data. You want to test it on a variety of data sets. So what I would do, I would clone it. And then when I clone it, every word that is highlighted, you can click on it and change it. So if I change it from Netflix to any other asset like Apple and test it again and again and again before I feel comfortable about it. Okay, at this point, traders, uh, it's important for me to remind you that backtesting is not always the most accurate way to gauge the effectiveness of a trading system. You know, sometimes trading strategy has performed very well in the past uh, and they fail to do so in the future. So past performance is not indicative of future results. So be sure to paper trade a system that has been successfully backtested uh, even for a couple of days before going live. And this is easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and on my control panel and I'm going to go ahead and clone it. Uh, I'm not going to change anything because this is the backtest that you know we ran with. Uh, and very quickly, though, I'm going to go ahead and simulate it. Now, our live and our simulation pages looks exactly the same. The only difference is the color. When we use simulation, um, everything is in orange. So just to point out, we have some info on the top here. Uh, it's live. It runs in loop. We have zero hits. Obviously, we've just started the strategy. We are waiting for the condition to trigger. You can limit the number of hits the strategy takes, have a total stop loss, and your control panel on live and simulation contains a stop, edit, clone, run live, change from once to loop, and get a shareable link. And as with the backtest, we have our entry and our exit. We have our notification panel, the win-loss ratio, and hit charts are yet to populate as we don't have trades so far. But the moment these uh, uh, trades up here, you're going to start seeing the data flowing. So now I want to take a look at the live examples page. The live examples page is a great place for traders to have a look of what strategies are working in the market, or perhaps just get an idea of what types of strategies you can create. We have Forex strategies, stocks, indices, and crypto. You can sort the strategies by return, recently triggered, green ratio, hit counts, and so on. So let's take a look at stocks. Oh, and the first one I see is kind of nice. It had 16 hits, um, almost 15% return and 73% win ratio. If I click view performance, I get the um, strategy page. This strategy runs in uh, real time on simulation mode. So we can see all the historical hits, all the statistics, um, and if we like what we see, we can clone this strategy. And again, cloning is just taking the strategy text and copying it to our, uh, to our wizard. And every highlighted word could change. So if we click on zoom, we can change the asset and we can just proceed with it as is. So this is the live examples page. Connecting trading account. So before we can trade live on our real account, we need to connect our trading account. So clicking the link in the menu will open the connect your MT5 account window where you need to place your MT5 credentials and use the server. And it's as easy as that. All you have to do is submit and your account will be connected. Let's take a look at all of our different strategies. If I click on my strategies page, we can see I have three live strategies. Uh, all of them are simulated strategy. We can see by the color orange uh, and the simulate tag. And we have the menu for each strategy. We can stop it, edit it, clone it, run it live, get a shareable link and so on. Um, we have one stop strategy and we have 10 back tests that we've ran uh, previously and we can go over them and, and see the, the results and get back to them at any point in time. Let's take a look at our learning center. This is a great place for you traders to get a scope on what you can do. We have our Discord community. Your invitation is waiting there. Please join us. We also have our YouTube channel. 
And then we have the article section. This is where you can go ahead and if you're not sure about something, you can browse and search uh, the different categories and, and find a relevant article about it. And then we have our settings. This is where you can adjust the time zone you want your platform to be on. You can set up or rather edit your password and set up your 2FA. And quite importantly, you can set your notifications. So you can be notified anytime something happens, entry triggered, exit triggers, and you can set it up to your preferred method, email, desktop. And my favorite, if you go to Apple Store or Play Store, you can download our mobile app, get the full functionality of the web interface on the go, and you can get notifications to your mobile push notification. So whichever is your preferred method, go ahead and set this up. One last page I want to show you is the Discover page. What this page is, is a lot of generalized templates from dollar cost averaging, candlestick patterns, timing conditions, price action, and a lot more. We even have community section where other traders donated their training strategies for the benefit of the entire community. What we can do with each one is go ahead and preview the template and we see all the text. And we can click create, which would just copy and paste the strategy to the wizard. I would like to thank you all for watching this video and I wish you happy and successful trading. Thank you very much, the Capitalize AI team.